Hi there! Welcome to this video on semi-permanent makeup for your nails and your lips. So easy to do yourself, I would recommend it, so keep watching. Start off with prepping your lips. I can do this when I'm brushing my teeth with an electric toothbrush and then moisturizing with some lip balm. We're going to be using liquid glue today, guys. Liquid glue, that's right. Did she just say liquid glue? Yes, she did. It's non-toxic, so please do not use the toxic liquid glue. It will not work and I don't want you to die. Use some food dye as well, whatever shade you desire. I'm using orange and rose pink in this video. And I did this a week ago or so and these were the results I got. You can see it peeling off there, so it worked well there. But I'm doing it a bit different this week because I want to mix up my shades and my colors. So you see me sort of taking an artistic approach, almost like an easel painting so I'm blending my shades so that was kind of fun you want to use a lot of hair dye to do this or sorry you want to use a lot of food dye to do this so that color really shows so you're kind of using quite a few drops then you're just blending blend away so you're happy with the shade actually put some oil in this time for my lips just to moisturize it. I just used a drop of olive oil, that's all I used. And then I applied it to my lips as you see here, just using a Q-tip. And to blend it when it's um, actually on the plate, you want to use a Kirby. So you don't want to use a Q-tip um, to blend it while it's on the plate because it tends to clog up. So use a um, Kirby to blend on the plate and then a Q-tip to apply to your lips because it's nice and soft. So just apply it as you would your normal lipstick. And you want to leave it to set for about 20 minutes or so. Perfect time to do my nails. So you want to use an old nail varnish brush. Wipe it off with nail varnish remover, the old nail varnish. And then apply it just like you would normally to your nails. It's really glossy when it goes on. It's like gel. Gel nail varnish. <laughs> leave that to set for 20 minutes. And then all you're doing is peeling it back. Peeling it off as you can see here. Kind of cool peeling off actually. <laughs> Voila! So you can see the color is really set. It's a nice rosy shade, a nice tint on the nail. And just make sure you're peeling off any bits that need to come off and of course you can put a clear nail varnish on top after you've peeled away the glue bit and that will just set the shade and make it last even longer because um, if you leave it like this it's fine and it will last you all day um, depending on how much water you're coming into contact with uh, but if you want to make it last even longer and you absolutely love the shade like I did you want to set it with a clear nail varnish. So carry on peeling and then when you're all done peeling, you can then apply your nail varnish. But it was really cool peeling off actually and seeing the results. All done. Now to the lips. Awesome. So you want to test them after 20 minutes and I'm just wiping it off with a baby wipe because I put the oil in so you're not going to peel it off you're going to wipe it off with the baby wipe kiss test on my hand nothing's coming off it's absolutely staying put with the kitchen towel as well nothing's coming off it's superb I was able to just relax knowing it's not coming off not going anywhere all day if you want to take it off anyway you can use um, brown sugar and olive oil to make a lip scrub to take it off sooner but I kept on all day and I put some moisturizer on top. It didn't even come off there either, as you can see. And that was me before and that's me after. So thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe and check us out you on YouTube. All right, bye. bye.